to Antigua. Uh, just drove here from Lake Atitan. Um, took about two hours to get here, so not too bad. It's a really beautiful city, though. It's uh, an old Spanish town. Um, you can definitely see that in the architecture and all the colors and the cobblestone. It's a really quaint city. It's a pretty popular tourist destination. In fact, I think it might be the most popular tourist destination in Guatemala. But it's not surprising because, I mean, it's very, it is very beautiful. It reminds me a lot of uh, the old town in Panama and San Juan that we uh, visited previously. that they do here that I love is um, they restore old school buses from the states and they put like new motors in them and deck them out and put new chrome on them and everything they look really cool but our driver said they have issues here because they put new motors in those buses um, they drive way too fast and a lot of times they get into bad accidents the city center um, we have a meeting here for our tour this evening somewhere around this area um, and it's really pretty there's a lot of people out pre-hike meeting for Akatanango hike tomorrow morning where they told us like how to prepare and what to wear, what kind of snacks to bring. Um, they prepped everyone, the whole group. There's probably about 15 other people going with us. Um, at first we were really nervous because everybody looked like they were super legit hikers but um, we all introduced ourselves and I think we're all in the same boat where, you, where none of us have ever done a hike like this. So we're excited and now we're at a cool restaurant called Sobrico. Um, it's got a greenery and it's beautiful. Yes, it's got a nice outdoor theme to it. We are eating one with the nature as we eat the nature, I guess. But it's pretty. It's really nice. Good morning. So it's our last day in Antigua before we head back to New York. We're fast forwarding a couple days after the trek that we went on. It was a lot of fun. Um, but we're really sore and tired today. Oh, my legs are so sore. <laughs> yes, but we're, we're going to put that on a different vlog, its own separate one. Fortunately, we were so exhausted yesterday from our trek that we took a nap, so we didn't sleep yeah. on the track, so we, didn't, we couldn't really explore Antigua that much. Well, and then it stormed, so yeah. we, we did, did go out last night, yeah. but by then it was kind of too late to see much. We met some much. people from the Netherlands and the UK that we went out with last night from the trek. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. We met another guy from Singapore on the trek that we exchanged information. So that's one of the funner parts of traveling when you meet people from all over the world. Oh, especially doing those tours. Yeah, you get real close with people real fast. We have a few hours in the morning before we head back to Guatemala City, so we're gonna explore the city a little more. Everyone likes to stop at and take pictures here in Antigua. As you can imagine, it's pretty busy. There's people trying to shoot a music video or something, it looked like. Um, but it's a good day for it. You get some nice pictures because you can see the mountain in the backdrop. nice about Antigua is that it's pretty dense so everything is pretty much within 10 or 20 minutes walking distance so you can explore the city pretty quickly like we're doing this morning they even dress up the fast food restaurants to look nice and fancy here so we're now stopping at this market at the end of town which was recommended to us by uh, a woman that works at our hotel I think we can get some good deals on some souvenirs and hopefully find a Guatemala flag here just because uh, we don't have a lot of uh, traditions or 
niches that we buy when we travel, but one is we collect flags from wherever we go. So hopefully we can find one here. the market for the flag um, unfortunately we went a little early so like half the shops weren't open yet um, so maybe they had one that we we're looking for there but it just the store wasn't open yet anyways we're heading back to our hotel right now to pack up and then head to Guatemala City to the airport trip I would say was successful wouldn't you Katie what was your favorite part huh. the lake was beautiful the hike the trek was fun yeah the trek was was awesome but really exhausting so I don't know I don't think we were quite prepared for it completely but we did it anyways um, yeah the lake was beautiful Antigua I wish we had a little bit more time to explore here we thought that we were going to have more time um, but we were so exhausted from the trip we kind of lost a day exploring but regardless it was a great trip and hopefully we'll be back someday